address you uh, with a uh, very rich greeting, saying that uh, it's very happy because I uh, uh, encounter again many friends from the past uh, and colleagues, uh, the intellectuals. So um, the happiness coming from uh, the encountering uh, with intellectual world. Uh, the other thing is that um, it has a, a little uh, bad thought about uh, the reducing of the people. I mean, I uh, believe that uh, the, the members of the conference had to be much bigger, uh, the number of the participants, because the message uh, through the bigger number can spread uh, to a broader uh, population. So it uh, has a, a little uh, negative thought about that. The other thing is that uh, told us about the crisis of civilization and especially here in, in Greece because we have the economic crisis and many people much more are interested about how to earn their livings than to, to speculate or to, to think and consider many serious things about the global uh, humanity, about uh, the future of uh, the, the peoples and about the prosperity and the ecological balance of the planet. So this is uh, uh, for him a, a reason for many pessimistic ideas. But on the other hand told us that um, believe that this forum and uh, forum like uh, in general like that is a very good uh, place in which uh, um, we can pass new ideas uh, for the humanity for the uh, upgrading of the civilization to give solutions uh, through the ideas, declarations and uh, resolutions and uh, believe that, uh, that the new generation should have some new ideals and uh, not to be uh, ready to, uh, to give up but on the contrary to continue uh, it's attempts for a better future. I told us about uh, her children, about uh, her grandchildren, but uh, it's a little difficult to believe, uh, Mrs. Kettler, that you have uh, grandchildren. Yes, I have. You are so young. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, you. As you say, so because I uh, want them to be here in Greece to continue in their country, uh, their profession, and uh, the struggle of the life and not to abandon uh, the country. And of course, uh, always to be with serious idea about uh, the future of this country and uh, about uh, the upgrading of uh, the culture. Uh, so, uh, finished with a general uh, greeting and uh, repeat again that I uh, was very happy for the as we say, uh, intellectual encountering, and this is for her something very serious and uh, satisfies so much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and the uh, underscore, but uh, Professor Rigor told us, okay, is combination mind and beauty. This is, it was the idea of ancient Greeks. Okay, Kalos Kagathos, Omnathos, and Virtual. <laughs> και μόνο για όλα αυτά έπρεπε να συμμετάσχει στο φόρουμ, συγγνώμη δηλαδή. Μα, ε, ε, χρόνια είπε συνέχεια, ναι. Τρεις καθηγητές και ο πρόεδρος. Τρεις, three, uh, three professor. Professor, yeah. professor yeah. says about, about the beauty of Kety. Yeah, and about mind too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Combination, <laughs> bravo. <laughs> But in the, in, in the past, I remember, Paris, yeah. that uh, in Salonika we had Again, combination because uh, the president of uh, the conference, Salonika, was a very nice yes. lady and was uh, okay, was very activated. You remember? So, yes, Maria Economo. She is now in Scotland with her daughter. Scotland, yeah. Yes, no, her daughter um, went to school to school to Scotland. Scotland. Uh, she was a uh, very good teacher. Uh, she was a very good teacher. 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 And now uh, Maria went there to join her. Because in Greece, uh, there are problems to earn a living. 
So suggestion is to found a branch of uh, organization in Scotland. Yes, but she's doing this. Yes. Ah, doing yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, I want uh, to offer the floor to another combination of beauty and mind, but from another continent, uh, from Latin America, to Irma, who is uh, our long-term participant and uh, very active and nice woman.
children were to stand in the open gardens and sing, and sing several national and other hymns suited for the particular date. At such an early age, I was impressed and never forgot El Canto de Amistad, El Canto de las Américas, El Himno de las Américas, the song of the American country's friendship. Who does remember it now? It was sung during the annual celebration of the America's Day that took place on April 14 in all of the American republics as a symbol of sovereignty and the voluntary union in a continental community. The first day of the Americas was held throughout the American continent in 1931 and pompous statements on the line of the ideas of peace and continental solidarity, also by strengthening their natural and historical ties and by recalling the common interest and aspirations to make the countries of the hemisphere a center of positive influence in the universal movement for peace, law, and justice among nations. Such beautiful words of the past, dreams and good intentions, they have been forgotten. The hour is close, is already here. Many countries are facing a moment of profound changes. There is urgency for restricted revelations and unavoidable quest for bettering the human existence in harmony with the natural environment. To achieve this goal, efficient action should be taken. The survival of man requires it, and as a vital and fundamental process, the earth demands it. It demands a breakthrough from wrong, outdated, and harmful structures which can no longer continue on foot. So, Let's remember that. And also, I am pleased to pass the greetings from Peru, from our representative in Peru, Fidel Gutierrez Ivanko, who together with us and anybody who would like to collaborate, I'm planning to uh, receive, to host our forum perhaps next year. The problem is monetary more than anything. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, we want a very beautiful ladies near us. Please, yes. stay. You know something is said to be greeted and the idea is going on. I was two minutes when you were coming. Mr. President, of course, first. Exactly. Let me go. Mr. President. No, no, he's just a no, vice he president. He wants, he wants to kiss you. No, no, no. I, I kissed uh, her before. I took my yes, you're right. babe. Yes, you We have a kiss. This, uh, Sorry. I lost your kiss. Only no, no. Mr. President. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll have it uh, next time. You should become uh, Professor vice president. <laughs> In order to take it. Yes, 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 yes. 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 I am uh, in, in, in very bad situation, so... Come with us, so, 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 <laughs> Mrs. So, so I, I have a privilege. As I am a vice president, I'm entitled to a kiss later. Of course, of course. Of course. You have the and right. the other vice president. We shall kill. It's good for the heart. Gracias, gracias, gracias. This is Mrs. Irma Villaroel, very good friend of uh, forum, very good friend of our hearts. More than anything uh, collaborator. Very good yes. poetry. Indeed. Very, very good. And a good dancer. Painter. <laughs> very good, good dancer. dancer. And she dances in the street of Agia Paraskevi last yeah, year. Definitely, <laughs> yes. In the middle of the street. I don't know. Of the road. Say hello to Fidel. Yes, yes, I will tell him. <laughs> Then he was and, and she, mm -hmm. just now, and she is very good actor. You hear her. I shall uh, begin to prepare a play with her. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yes, but yes, yes. Come on, so you don't complain, but you come up here. Who cares? <laughs> That's the lucky one. So now you won't play lottery. This is just bravo. <laughs> Come on, give me a piece Yes, in the name of uh, Latin America, citizenship and friendship. Indeed, and her citizenship. <laughs> Θα μιλήσω πρώτα στα αγγλικά και ύστερα θα πω και δύο λόγια απλά στα ελληνικά. 
Ε, λέγομαι Αθηνά Μαρίνη ε, και χαίρομαι που είμαι, ε, βρίσκομαι εδώ πέρα σε αυτή την ε, ομάδα. Ε, υπάρχουν πολλές ομάδες και είμαι σε πολλές ομάδες και νομίζω ότι θα τα καταφέρουμε. Δεν νομίζω να υπάρξει τρίτος παγκόσμιος πόλεμος, ούτε θα νικήσει το σκοτάδι. Απλά νομίζω ότι βγαίνει στην επιφάνεια περισσότερο τώρα και μας φοβίζει, ενώ πάντα υπήρχε. Ε, είμαι πραγματικά ε, αισιόδοξη ότι θα τα καταφέρουμε. Δεν ξέρω πώς, αλλά νομίζω ότι μέσα μας υπάρχει σε όλους αυτό το θέλω ότι δεν θέλουμε αυτό που συμβαίνει και θέλουμε κάτι άλλο. Και εφόσον το θέλουμε, κάτι από μέσα θα μας οδηγήσει σαν ανθρωπότητα και σαν άνθρωποι μεμονωμένοι να φτάσουμε εκεί. So, ε, αυτά ήταν οι δύο λόγια από μένα. Ε, όχι α, αυτό, ας πούμε, που θέλω πραγματικά να μιλήσω. So, um, I'll speak in English uh, now. Uh, I'm a volunteer uh, for the Prem Rawat Foundation. Prem Rawat uh, is the person who has set up the foundation, and the purpose of the foundation is to bring peace. Not the peace which is the absence of war. Uh, that is a different kind of peace. It's the peace which exists in each one of us, which we need to bring to the fore. We need to get to know that part of us. And unfortunately, education systems of today, uh, I'm also from Australia, I'm Greek, but I'm also from Australia, and I know from there because I was a teacher, uh, things are gearing up, not for general education, not for preparation for life, but uh, training. Education has become training. Training to fit a slot, to become uh, a person uh, that is well prepared for a career. But a career without that inner contentment, that inner happiness, that inner humanity will not lead us very far. We see where, what's happening right now, here and in Venezuela and in so many other countries, and they'll continue, I think, for a while, but it won't win. I'm hopeful that it won't win. So, I represent the uh, Prem Rawat Foundation. Prem Rawat is a person who, like Aristotle, is universal. He speaks at the European Parliament, the New Zealand Parliament. He speaks at universities. He speaks in ghettos in Sawato. He speaks in Venezuela, in, sorry, in Argentina, in the women's prisons, in San Antonio in women's prisons. He speaks everywhere and he continues to travel to speak about this peace that exists which, within each of us and that we really need to get to know, because that will anchor us to really be able to act externally, to really be able to do things, being here, but acting out there. Without this, we flounder. And intellectualism is not enough. We've had a taste of that. I think it's time that we drop down into the heart. And this is uh, Prem Rawat's message, that we can uh, know that part of ourselves. And he is relentless in his travels uh, to uh, tell us about uh, that. Now, the, he has set up uh, something called the Peace Education Program. This education program it has um, participants all over the world from uh, prisons to street kids uh, to universities to adult groups and so on. And we're going to see a small video of uh, Prem Rawat himself. Uh, he's been called the ambassador of peace exactly because he talks all over the world and he inspires people to get to know that part uh, of ourselves. So thank you for me.
Uh, I wish to add that Prim uh, since June, when he was in Greece, he became citizen of the Earth. So for you to know that he also joined a global citizenship. And professor? Yes. Not the title of professor, which we give the... Yeah, yes, and he is, yes, yes, he is yes, and he is also professor yeah. uh, on civic knowledge. Yeah. Um, yeah. express my aspiration, perhaps you too have the same aspiration in you. And that aspiration is the aspiration to be fulfilled. In an average year, Karmalat speaks to more than half a million people in person at over 60 events all over the world to make his unique message of peace available to as many people as possible. I've never heard about any other person who is putting so much effort and so much focus and fun in trying to reach people and talk about his peace we have. His message has attracted audiences that can exceed 300,000, but it remains the same and is as personal and intimate as when he is speaking to an audience of only 30 people. Usted imaginó cuando empezó a dar su mensaje de la importancia y el valor que su mensaje eh, significaba para miles y miles de personas. No. But at the same time, if you're going to make this message available, it doesn't matter if it is to one or a million. He speaks to people from all walks of life, bringing his message to people in developing nations, <coughs> to high level dignitaries, and to everyone in between. He is recognized as an ambassador of peace around the world. In this chamber today, we have Prem Rowat, ambassador of peace. And is that not the most wonderful country that you could be ambassador for? He responds to invitations of all kinds to speak about his seemingly simple perspective on peace, giving equal importance to requests from leaders at prestigious venues like the European Union Parliament and inmates in small jails. It makes you feel special to think that he would take the time to come speak to 80, maybe 100 inmates because he wants us to have peace just like he wants anybody else to. Seeing peace as a fundamental need, he founded a humanitarian organization called the Prem Rawat Foundation to address this issue. The foundation also addresses other basic necessities like food and water, but remains dedicated to satisfying the requirements of the heart as well as the body. Prem Rawat Foundation acknowledges that you need to have prosperity. It acknowledges that you need to have dignity. And it acknowledges that you need to have peace. And that one does not need to be disconnected from other. In contrast to the global magnitude of his work, Prem Rawat's message is a very simple and personal one, directed not at countries, politicians, or the world at large, but at the heart of the individual. Everything that I'm stating is obvious. What is the obvious? that you are alive, this is obvious. The peace that you look for is inside of you, that is obvious. Everything else, in a moment's notice, can change. The only thing that doesn't change is your strength, your beauty, your joy. You, after all, are a human being.
Дорогие дамы и господа, здравствуйте. Мое впечатление, конечно, очень большое. Я единственное, что очень жалею, что а, я узнала об этом. Семь лет проходит такой а, диалектический а, форум, а я только в этом году первый раз узнала о нем. Светлана Андреевна, ли, у них херет и пара полипов, у них херет 
και δυστυχώ είναι η πρώτη φορά φέτο που είναι. Потому что моя деятельность очень сильно переплетается с этим. Я занимаюсь экологией, а законы диалектики – это и есть законы экологии. Законы экологии – есть законы космоса. Πάρα πολύ κοντά με φιλοσοφία, πάρα πολύ κοντά με διαλέκτικα και, και είναι μαζί με οικολογία όλα. Ναι, παρακαλώ. Όταν ήρθατε, 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 όταν Τώρα μιλάμε για ιστορία Ελλάδα. Πότε ο Τσάρο Φιλίππο από Μακεδονία, λέμε εμεί στην Ρωσία, έχει πάρει δάσκαλο για το παιδί για Αλέξανδρο, ήταν Αριστότελ. Και δεν είναι τυχαία. Και когда он некоторое время с ним позанимался, Проходит время, Филипп спрашивает у Аристотеля, как мой Александр по математике? Он говорит, никак. А как по физике? Никак. Он такой изумленный, по всем предметам стал спрашивать. Он говорит, а где ты тот же ответ получал? Никак. Какая стихия у Вава, у Филиппа Срата и Аристотеля? Пусть не пойдет до кому пойдет. Να σπούμε μαθηματικά πώς είναι, τίποτα λέει Αριστότελ. Φυσική, τίποτα απαντάει Αριστότελ. Ό,τι ρώτηση θα έκανε, έκανε. Φίλιππος έχει απάντηση τίποτα. Τότε ο Φίλιπ, βοσμουσιόνι, σε ζουμλένιο, σπρασί, τι μου ζω ότι εγώ ουτσες. Και Αριστότελ σκάζαλ, εγώ ουτσιο εγώ, μυσλή. Και μετά ο Φίλιππος είπε πως είναι έτσι, γιατί έτσι, τι μαθαίνει το παιδί μου δηλαδή. Και Αριστότελ απλά απάντησε λέει, εγώ μαθαίνω να μάθει να σκέφτεται, ναι, να σκέφτεται το παιδί, αυτό. Ну так мы знаем, что он воспитал великого полководца. Поэтому то, что сейчас здесь происходит, это очень важное для человечества мероприятие, потому что именно, Игорь Иванович, вот ваш форум, он учит не просто мыслить, а правильно мыслить людей, для того, чтобы мы не просто исчезли, а дальше пошли эволюционировать и вверх. Εμείς τώρα αυτό που κάνουμε μαζί, όλοι οι παρέα μας, όλη η ομάδα μας, πρέπει να κάνουμε αυτό που έκανε η Αριστότελη κάποτε. Δηλαδή να μαθαίνουμε κόσμο να σκεφτούν και όχι απλά να σκεφτούν, να σκεφτούν σωστά. Μπράβο. Επίσης, δεν ξέρω, οι παιδιές είναι οι καλύτεροι φιλόσοφοι. А самые лучшие философы – дети. Поэтому я очень рада, что я здесь, всех вас увидела, услышала. И я надеюсь, что буду очень тесно сотрудничать. Спасибо вам большое. То калитер или философы из Тинкозма и не педьян. То калитер, ке хорестов пара поли по имя стема Азисас, ке на синихизуме. Хорестов пара поли. Make a small translation from uh, Professor Svetlana. Yeah. Uh, told us about uh, philosophy. His, uh, her field is philosophy, dialectics, and uh, ecology. Uh, told us uh, this uh, the story between Alexander and Philip II, the second, the father. Uh, we know that Aristotle was. Uh, the, the teacher of Alexander and Philip uh, asked him uh, how is going on with uh, his student, I mean Alexander, uh, was taught mathematics, physics, uh, other 
lessons, and uh, Aristotle said no, no, no. So what are you doing? Uh, Ask him. What uh, you want to learn, my son? And uh, Aristotle said that uh, what I want to make to do is uh, to learn how to learn. This is the point. How to think. So uh, the point is that. Uh, uh, the Aristotle, as philosopher and a very good pedagogist, wanted to make uh, uh, Alexander to know how to learn, how to think, uh, think of course, with the right way. And uh, Mrs. Vetlana told us that uh, this is what we should do here in this conference and in general as global citizens, uh, to think with the right way, to know how to learn and how to know. And uh, this is uh, our duty and uh, has a very good wishes for the works of the conference and for the future works uh, of uh, the same organization. Okay. Κυρίες και κύριοι, έχουμε κοντά μας μια πολύ καλή φίλη επίσης, την κυρία Δέσποινα Τριθοπούλου που είναι πρόεδρος και γεννήτωρ της κίνησης, του κινήματος μάλλον, λέω ναι στις αξίες, με μαθήματα δωρεάν σε σχολεία, σε γονείς, σε ανθρώπους, μέσα από πολλούς φορείς. Κυρία Δέσποινα Τριτοπούλου, που είναι γεννήτωρ και πρόεδρος του κινήματος, λέω ναι στις αξίες. Uh, we say yes to the values. Uh, we mean uh, moral and intellectual values. Και κάνει μαθήματα σε γονείς, σε παιδιά, σε σχολεία δωρεάν, όλοι οι ομάδες της. Και κάνει μαθήματα σε γονείς, σε παιδιά, σε σχολεία δωρεάν, όλοι οι ομάδες της. Σε διαλέξεις. Σε διαλέξεις, όπως είπα, το κόσμο των αξιών. Ναι, ναι, ναι. And moral and uh, intellectual values to upgrade them. Αγαπητοί φίλοι και αδελφοί, καλησπέρα και από μένα. Χαίρομαι που είμαι εδώ μαζί σα. Ε, δεν ξέρω τι μπορώ να πω σε μια τέτοια συνάντηση. Όπου ο, ο στόχο και ο σκοπό τη συνάντηση είναι μέσα από την φιλοσοφία να βρούμε το σκοπό της ζωής, να βρούμε την αλληλεγγύη, την ειρήνη, την αγάπη, την κατανόηση. Ε, δημιουργήσαμε και, και εμείς, όπως και εσείς έχετε τους ίδιους ακριβώς στόχους και αναισθάτε τέτοια πράγματα, δημιουργήσαμε και εμείς αυτό το κίνημα, το λέω ναι, ε, το οποίο ε, κινείται μέσα περισσότερο από τη δράση ε, να φτιάξει τη θεωρία μέσα από ενεργειακτικές ανιδιοκαιρινές δράσεις πιστεύουμε ότι θα, ε, οι άνθρωποι θα ε, συντονιστούν ε, με την αλήθεια μέσα από αυτό. Ε, θα μεταφράσετε στο τέλος. Α, ναι. So, uh, the president of the movement uh, told us uh, about uh, the goals of this movement is uh, through philosophy to find uh, the real, the, the, uh, the serious goals of the life and believes, and the movement believes that the activity to do something, not only theoretical uh, speeches, is uh, the key point in order to promote in order to promote the peace in all the world and uh, to make uh, the young people better and better. Αυτό που κάνουμε κυρίως είναι να προωθούμε το νόμισμα της αγάπης, της ανηλιοτέλειας. Πιστεύουμε σε έναν κόσμο όπου πρώτα θεραπεύεται το άτομο, ο πυρήνας, και καθώς θεραπεύεται το άτομο, θεραπεύεται η οικογένεια, η πολιτεία και μετά το κράτος. Επομένως, στοχεύουμε πρώτα στο άτομο. Και το άτομο για να μπορέσει να θεραπευτεί και να βρει τον εαυτό του, 
απαραίτητη προϋπόθεση είναι να συνδεθεί με κάτι πολύ μεγαλύτερο, να απλώσει την ακτίνα του ενδιαφέροντός του σε πολύ μεγαλύτερη κλίμακα. Να διευρυνθεί και να αγκαλιάσει τμηματικά, ξεκινώντας πάντα από τον εαυτό, την οικογένεια, να απλώσει την ακτίνα του ενδιαφέροντός του και να πάει στην κοινωνία και στον κόσμο, στο τέλος θα πάει φυσικά. Which against the self-interested policy in the life, against the personal interest, and uh, gives much more priority to love, to love, to brotherhood, and uh, believes that if the individuals are full of love and uh, brotherhood, can uh, lead to much better uh, formation of families, of societies as uh, they are involved in social processes. So, uh, the movement starts from the individual, and uh, when the individual is full of love and uh, uh, brotherhood, uh, the family uh, could be better with moral values, and the society after that. So, the point for this movement is to create an individual with uh, goodness, with virtues, with love, against the self-interest decisions. Okay, this is the key point for this woman. And the road for the philosophy, under one theory, and it's not a new theory, I see it, because I have seen it a lot, it starts from the non-idiotelia, προχωρεί στην αυτοθυσία, φτάνει στην ενότητα και μετά είναι η φώτιση. Uh, so we say something more special now. We start with fighting the self-interest decisions and policy in your life. Uh, but after we proceed to the spirit of self-sacrifice and after to the unity and after? And after to the illumination. What? Εύχομαι στον καθένα από εμά αυτό το προσωπικό μονοπάτι να το αφιερώσουμε στο καλό τη ανθρωπότητα χρησιμοποιώντα το νόμισμα τη αγάπη το οποίο νόμισμα της αγάπης ποτέ δεν τελειώνει. Είναι α, περιόριστο. Ρέει διαρκώς και ε, έρχεται, εμφανίζεται, όποτε το κίνητρο είναι αγνώστο. Και τώρα συνεχίζουμε με το focus again on love. That uh, if the individual full of love, they believe the idea and the value of love, everything can be solved, everything uh, can be better. So uh, wisdom and philosophy based on love is uh, the better stance for the life, according to this woman. Love and love again. And I spoke about the currency of love. That currency is unlimited currency, uh, never finishes, uh, and whenever you need it, is there available. And uh, I hope, uh, We work with this currency, brotherhood and love. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you.